here I am at Hutting Sprat once again and I'm going to go and give it a chance this afternoon. Um, so what I'm trying out this time around is this little shooting ball to get. You know that the shaking head works so well here but there's so much grass. So I decided to bring this this time around. It's called made by Hayabusa. So that's basically what it looks like. It's just a jig head with a clip. You can put on whatever hook you want on there. There you go. It's pretty simple to get on and off. It should be when I got my glasses on. That's it. It just turns off like that. Turn it back on again. And that's it. And tie that with a little flick this morning or uh, put a little tiddler on there and see what happens. That's a Hayabusa shooting ball jigged. Ah, oh, there you go. That's it rigged. Got quite a bit of movement there. I pushed it on a bit far. There you go. Let's give it a try. How's it? Good in here. Water levels dropped a lot as you can see and I'm still in the grass and I tried to miss it but I'm but it didn't get stuck hmm. it's quite heavy compared to what I normally fish with yeah might not work might be too heavy Still managed to gather up some leads. Lift the hook proud, I haven't pushed it in. A little bit further out this time. Get out there. test my theory that they want something lighter, something smaller. Um, let me see what happens. So here we go. Three inch runs back minnow. Also these are the guys have been fishing here the whole afternoon so maybe There's just nothing around. Yeah, I don't know what hit me there. Something. It's just dirt. I watch for this lightning. Doesn't look like there's any bass in here. I'm just gone. I thought I had a bite there earlier on, but uh, I'm not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure it was just weeds. Let's see. I see getting very cold. I have to go back and get a jersey. Oh, it's like 
I've also just opened the sluices so they emptied most of the water out here on the weekend so I think these bass are going to take a while to resettle. Oh, there we go, there's one, there's one, there's one, didn't take long, two or three casts with the little three inch and here we have it. Oh, male. There he is. Little male again. Oh, quick release. And I saw another one there. There was a big one there just now. Up there. Really fishing for nests now. What's that called you got on there? This is the three inch. Uh, Bronze back, I know. Huh. Yeah. That bronze back. Hey, this thing catches this. I played this. with that thing at Albert Force oh. and it really works. Huh? Yeah, this, the, this time of the year, because you get so much bait fish around, they, they're best at targeting the bait fish, so this thing really works well now. Oh, he just hit me there again. Hey, there he is. Yeah. Yeah, you're a fat little one, huh? I'm gonna hurt this one. These gills are deformed in that one. There's plenty around. I'll take this. Let's sink her and go on those rocks that side. I think they'll be. Oh, I'm in the, that's, I oh, yeah. saw that video you made there on veggies and limestone. Yeah. Uh, when I was there in the military. Uh, yeah. Oh, there's some, some good fishing there. The fishing is there again now. They're getting. Did you fish there on, oh. the, <laughs> there on that um, container or did you fish on the reef itself? On the reef itself, yeah. There we go. Getting murdered. That's a better fish. Yeah, it's a little bit better, but you see they're still very red, eh? Yeah. So war going on. Yeah. How oh, orange that is underneath. I'm not sure. The bigger piece no. has done now and they've yeah. moved on, so it's the, the smaller ones stood. Yeah, plenty around there. Thank you, over and over, but you look at them now, so yeah. they yield quick, but it's not the same. Thing. Yeah. Hey, yeah. there we go. <laughs> oh, side hooked him. I didn't even have to catch him in the mouth. <laughs> oh, plenty around there. Oh, it's getting very, very dark. And that storm is getting closer and closer. Uh, I'll give it a few more costs, yeah. And then go, oh, terrible cost. Terrible, terrible cost. So bass, yeah. We're definitely signing in on the smaller baits because this is the five inch. Maybe if I had a four inch, five inch. Oh, another bass, yeah.
it's um, the McCarthy. Come on, yeah, I can see, see them there all over here. They'll eat my problem. Is there's lots of rocks all over here. There we go. <laughs> There we go. Okay, I'll show you what it is now. Don't throw it around. Oh. Mm. That thing has gone. Beautiful condition, these fish. Yeah, I'm gonna sort it out. It's the bronze back stumpy in five inch. I know I'd catch a lot of fish out on the shaky head, but the problem with the shaky head here is shaky heads and rocks are not the best friends. Chasing down there, but I doubt I'll get there. Ah, the wind is just too much. Uh, mm. oh, I'm in this spot, but not quite close. Close, but not too close. Not close enough. out and have another hit, another cast at it. Just wait for this wind to die a little bit. Oh yeah, oh yeah, just come off that grass there. Oh, there we go, in the spot. That's where he was, that's exactly where that fish just came out. Let's see if he'll eat this. The wind has picked up the braid, it's blowing it right out. Let me see if I get something, I'll let you know. Oh, I think that's it, the storm is right on top of us here now. That was a good hour or so fishing. Fishing is very good, but it's just uncomfortable with this lightning and that around. That's it. Oh, there we go. That's it. They love this thing. Sure. Oh, too clever. <laughs> so it is feisty. Sorry about that, dude. You made it back around. There's just so many of them. It's just, and you can put the other baits on, you get one or two bites. But this little bronze back minnow, they love it. Reason for that is because most of these fish have just spawned and there's lots of little bait fish around so after a while they look after their nests for a bit and they watch after the the hatchlings for a bit and then after about a week or so then those hatchlings that become fair game and they're allowed to eat them so they just smash into those things so they're looking for things a little bit of shine in it a little sparkle a whole lot of them all together and they just open their mouths and crash into it and that's why this little bit of gold flash and bronze back is is the answer and the size as well it's just that little tiny little bait fish size so, perfect little bait you're going to catch a lot of fish on this thing and that 
think it's time for me to head inside. It is. Oh, I just dropped one. That's it, last recovery. How are they gone now? There he is. Oh, there he is. Now, first I thought these were all the same fish, but they're actually all different fish. Beautiful little guy. So easy. You want to catch bass? By the millions. That's what you need. A little shaky head. These are all my old shaky heads from from about five years ago, and I've just got tons of them here. I don't want to use the new stuff because I'll use that for special places. Here, it's so easy to catch fish. But you can't get hold of those little eagle claw. One sixteenth ounce, that's all you need. A little round head jigget. If you got the eagle claw Ned rigs, also one sixteenth ounce. That's it. You're good to go. Most of the shops keep them. Oh, I'm right here. That's it from me guys, thanks Thanks for watching. I might do a bit of fishing in the morning. If I do, I'll include it in this. Cheers.